what's going on guys my name's Kaiden and today I have a special treat for you this is Sima or Sima depending on where you live CM046 AK47 and what's really cool about this is that look use real wood sub assembly what real wood just like the actual thing which that's pretty awesome and look at also this the convulsionary purpose is as the same as a real gun real blowback that simulates the actual AK-47 and of course 6 millimeter BBs and let's open it up so what I really like about this is that it's in full color because most companies they just put plain old cardboard box and then you're good to go okay let's flip this one off okay Oh my goodness, guys. Whoa, okay. One thing before I go into this, remember, safety is number one. One thing that you should always do is always wear pr protective eye goggles, even if you are just shooting targets or if you're out on the field. Always wear that. It's always safety first because if a BB ricochets off of a wall and if it hits your eye, you're going to have some serious injuries there. And also, remember, this is... Never take this out in public, because people will probably think it's a real firearm. And let's get into it. So, these cardboard pieces. Okay, before we go into the main thing of itself. So right here, I have a mysterious cardboard box. <laughs> and inside we got BBs. Don't use these, they probably have seen them. Yeet, you're out. And look at this. You've got a tool to adjust your frontal iron sight. Okay, now, this is pretty cool because you can just adjust your frontal iron sight. this that one right here now we got here our standard banana magazine and they call that a banana magazine because it looks like a shape of a banana and one thing you do with uh, the magazine is to load the BBs all you do is open up this section right here you fill in your BBs oh yeah one thing that I should mention a difference between an airsoft gun and a BB gun. BB guns, they shoot metal BBs, which you cannot shoot at anybody. But with airsoft, they're plastic, and they can be shot at somebody if they're wearing a vest or goggles at a airsoft field. But as I was saying, you load the BBs in here, and then once that's in there, you want to close that until you hear that positive click. And then right here, they have this on most magazines, unless if it's like a green gas or CO2 powered. What you do is you wind it up, and it'll make a different sound when the BBs are in there. And all it is is basically there's just this long tube right here in the can and the section with all the BBs, and then it just sucks it up in the tube until it goes here. And you want to make sure you're constantly doing this after like um, a few hundred shots of the BBs. So it keeps them moving up towards the top. All right, and there's one more thing before we get to the main spotlight of the show. And I could have sworn it was in here. Hmm, oh. Ah, there it is. So this is called a cleaning and unjamming rod. Basically what you do with this is that right here you wanna take a tiny piece of cloth and you'll wrap it around here and you just stick it into the barrel of the gun and you just clean it through. And this is an unjamming rod. You can do it. just get a jam out if a BB's clogged in the system. So cleaning and unjamming. All right, now it's time for the main thing. Ugh. It's the 
gun, the AK-47, and you can already see this weight on this. This is really heavy, but this is a one-to-one -one scale of the actual AK-47, and the weight is pretty accurate, too. The real weight on the actual AK-47 is 6.8 pounds, and this one weighs about 7 pounds. And just look at this. Real wood. Oh my goodness, and look. Real metal. And this thing even has a pop-up adjustment. What that basically is, you want to put it on safety, bring back the bolt, and basically inside here, there's this thing, there's this switch, which can adjust the hop-up, which is basically, say you're shooting it, and your BB is going straight, but starting to go up. You can adjust the hop-up on it if you have like a different wing BB, and this thing also goes on full auto, or semi-automatic. So full auto would be this. Full auto is basically, if you hold down the trigger, um, it basically, when you hold it down, it just go sprays tons of BBs. So like that would go pew, 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 pew. And then if you switch it to semi-automatic, if you hold down the trigger, it will only go pew. You need to go pew, 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 pew. <laughs> and this, of course, is safety. Always switch it to safety after you're done firing this. And also, one tip is once you're done firing, or for like target practice, um, make sure the BB, all the BBs are empty and make sure this is not, make sure you still have your goggles on because if there's still a BB in here and you're pointing at like something like, oh, look at this, let's check if there's a BB in there, it might ricochet and get into your eye, so remember to always do that if you're clearing an airsoft gun. And let's get into the details of this. So, very realistic has, unfortunately has warning tag, made in China. And the funny thing is that it comes with its own serial number. And, you know, I was talking about the, where did it go? Oh yeah, here it is. The frontal iron sight adjustment. Okay, here's the front iron sight. And with that, you can just get your adjustment tool and then it works like a screw basically all you do hey that rhymes <laughs> is you put it on here and then you turn it clockwise to adjust it either clockwise to tight and or to raise and counterclockwise to loosen it up but it's a little bit hard because this is a new airsoft gun but once you get into there it will work perfectly And we also have our back iron sights right here, which you can adjust by first pointing it up a little bit, and then squeeze these two, and you can adjust it to the, the optimal distance that you want. What's also cool about this thing, it's really realistic, is that this back to open the compartments in it, you can also do this on the real AK-47. But if you press this button down here, I'll show you. So on the real thing of the AK-47, I'll show you your springs, your firing pin, and the barrel adjustment. But this one just shows the spring. And well, I reckon you shouldn't really just play with this and try to take this off all the time because it's kind of a pain to get it back in. So my trick is you kind of have to practice this a lot is that you slide it in like this first until it's matched up and then just press down and push forward at the same time then it's on like that. Because I took this out and didn't know how to put it back and so I finally figured it out. And look, a dummy bolt and what is really cool, if you get the battery running in this thing, and if you fire it, the bolt will go back at the same time as you're firing it, but there's no shells that eject. And, wow, this thing is 
it's really cool because it's real wood and like you even got yourself your own sling mounts your back sling mount and your frontal sling mount which is that one right there and I'm guessing you can buy an actual AK-47 sling mount because this is a one-to-one -one scale replica of the actual AK-47 and real metal so if you get a reliable sling point I bet you that this will just hang down like that but when you're buying slings you want to make sure it's top quality because this thing weighs seven and a half pounds and you don't want this loose string just sitting there because your gun might fall down and to complete the picture of the AK-47 let's put in the magazine so when putting this in it has to look like a banana, banana like this so there's a notch inside here right there that on this forward one right here you need to put that notch in and then you need to slam the back down so it's like that and there you go the complete full picture of the AK-47 and to release it out what you do is this button right here what you do is you wanna push it just like this and then at the same time hold it like this but this is upside down for me and then you wanna push it forward push this lever forward as you're pushing the magazine forward like that and then if you wanna reload if you practice that and remember don't shove it up in there it's not like a stick mag you gotta actually just see and you'll sometimes hit your finger like that what I just did back then and if there's an opponent around the corner and you're like oh snap I haven't reloaded you don't wanna you kinda wanna take your time almost to put it in just make sure that front notch is there and then you can just slam it in and if you're just trying to do that really fast I guess if you practice enough you can just do it really fast like like that but it might jam up your mag and one thing that I suggest not really to do is try to like force it in because when I did it like this it slipped and it'll hit your hand so you don't want that to happen you just kinda wanna click it in like that and then this I guess you shouldn't really play um, with it with the bolt while it's not in there because I mean like if you're just wanting to do it like I guess but I mean like I shouldn't really suggest just playing around the bolt like this because you might break an internal or you might um, wear down the lubrication on the spring but man this thing's uh, really nice because it's full metal and it's real wood and the only plastic part I'd say on here is the orange tip which in law what you have to do the orange tip at least has to be six millimeters long and that's just for US law and remember to always be safe around airsoft guns and most of the times you want to treat it like it's always loaded and treat it like an actual firearm you don't want to be playing around with it like a toy gun like that because you might hurt somebody and you might mess up your gun just like that but to put the battery in you want to unscrew this back tab right here and then inside will be your fuse and your wire and if you are getting this AK-47 I will put in the description right down below a list of all the batteries that is compatible with this uh, certain CM-046 and also if you're getting this like me a CM-046 there's two types there's a CM-046A which is not like this regular AK-47 it's not wood it's more fancier grip and 
also rails, kind of like an AR-15. But yeah, this is a really nice airsoft gun. And if you want to look down the iron sights, that's what it looks like. And yeah, that's it. That's going to be about it for my unboxing of the CM046 by Sima or Sima. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to always give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends, especially if you're going to want to plan on getting an Airsoft AK-47. And also to ring that bell. And most importantly, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.